This is an amazing view of the remains of the Forum and also of the Basilica. The Basilica is better preserved than the Forum. Uh, the Basilica, and you can see how beautifully this is sited right near the sea. Again, we're t dealing with a port here, port city here. You can see the apses. You can see the preserved columns. You can see the wedge-shaped section of shops here. Uh, and uh, you can see, uh, this, uh, again, that the basilica has many of its columns better preserved than those in the Forum. We see them here. Uh, we can get a much better sense of what the basilica looked like in antiquity. In fact, this is much better preserved than the Basilica Ulpia in Rome. Uh, we see the, and we see the difference in the materials, the pink granite from Egypt used here as well. Uh, the uh, Corinthian, in this case, Corinthian capitals rather than the, the uh, lotus leaf capitals. Uh, sandstone for the walls, so this combination of local stone and especially imported marbles for this structure. Uh, here's a restored view of the interior uh, where we can see it was two-storied originally, just like the Basilica Ulpia in Rome, like the Basilica Ulpia in Rome, a flat ceiling with a, co a coffered ceiling, as you can see above. Uh, and uh, we can also see the niches have coffering in them. Very interesting decoration, use of columns on two tiers, no structural purpose whatsoever, decorative only, projecting into our space, creating that in and out undulating movement, and then a very unusual uh, motif, architectural motif in the center. I show you here the south apse where we can see the pink granite once again preserved. Uh, ionic capitals in this particular case for that niche, and then these very heavily decorated pilasters on either side. Uh, and in the center of the niche, these very tall columns. This is very interesting because it seems to have had no purpose whatsoever than just to stand there and look good. Two colossal columns on tall bases uh, with uh, Corinthian capitals, and then a lintel on top of those. Uh, and then uh, griffins, uh, and then another lintel on the top. What was the purpose of this? Did it have some kind of religious purpose? Well, this is a civic structure, so unlikely. It's just a decoration, among other decorations, but using architectural elements uh, in toto. The piers are very, very interesting. They're eaten away, dematerialized by their sculpture, as you can see here, light and dark uh, accentuated. And if you look at the details of them, you will see that one of them, or a couple of them, have scenes of the, uh, of the 12 labors of Hercules. Remember, this was a building that was completed by Caracalla. Is it a stretch to say uh, that Caracalla uh, or might have wanted to have Herculean imagery here, as he did in the Baths of Caracalla?